This is where all the spice comes from to make these the world's spiciest noodles. This sauce right here. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Are you ready to eat the world's spiciest noodles? Mm -hmm. I don't think you're ready. I am. I love spicy food. Yeah, I can handle spicy food. No. You cannot no, handle no, no. spicy food. You talk about you can handle spicy foods when it comes to like jalapenos on your pizza or like some Tabasco on your food. But these are the world's spiciest noodles. Are you really ready? I think I can handle it better than you can. Okay. Now do you think you can handle eating the world's spiciest noodles while answering the no. world's juiciest questions? I don't know. My mouth is going to be burning answering these questions. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on you guys? Brandon here aka Brawadis and Jasmine and today we are going to be answering the juiciest questions that you guys want to know about us, about our relationship, about our life but we're going to spice things up a little bit, no pun intended and we're going to be answering these juicy questions while eating world's spiciest food. So babe without further ado, should we take a bite first? Take a bite first. What is this, like a pregame <laughs> shot before the party? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let, let's take a bite. Let's test these out a little bit, okay? Cheers. Don't let it touch your lips. I know. Oh. The Ooh. flavor is good. Yeah, the flavor is good, but the spice is too much. The flavor is so good, but the spice is spicy. I'm not dying yet. Wait, hold but on. But it's spicy. You're dying already? That was a warm-up bite? <laughs> if that was a warm-up bite, I'm not ready for this video. Okay, let's start with question number... Wait, babe, can you just check if I'm in the frame? Because yeah, if not, yeah. we have to start this whole video over. Yeah. I am? Yeah. With a lot of room? Yeah. Okay. I don't know who I thought I was like, Devin Booker is six foot six. I'm only five foot nine. <laughs> but anyways. Okay, babe, are you ready for question number one? Mm-hmm. But after reading the first question, I don't know if you really want to answer this. Why? But we got to answer every question Honestly, truthfully. Yeah. You promise? Promise. Every single question must be answered truthfully and honestly. We cannot lie to the supporters, okay? Okay. You might lie for this question, but... Oh, my gosh. Question number one that you guys wanted to know. So, you guys all know me and Jasmine, we had a little... We broke up about a month ago, but we're trying to work things out again. We're back, obviously back together and we're trying to make this relationship right. So a lot of people <laughs> have the question. Which is a good question. Brandon, Jasmine, if you guys broke up, you guys went your separate ways, you guys didn't really talk to each other for a couple of days, how are you guys back together? Who reached out to who first? That was your guys' question. <laughs> who reached out to who first after the breakup? Okay, you want me to answer? I think you should answer. <laughs> Okay, after the breakup, but obviously- don't, but, but, but don't forget, while you're answering, you gotta eat a little bit too. I have to eat while I'm talking. You gotta eat okay, while- Okay, after the breakup, after we were only separated like two days, three days. After the breakup, I missed Brandon so much that I texted him first and I wanted to hang out and meet up. Hmm. And I would- I would miss him so much that I would go to the spot where we had our first date all the time alone and I would just sit and like miss him. So then you would I would reminisce our memories by yourself. Yeah. Babe, now and I, I would that. write in my journal and like listen to the waves. Okay. okay. But so I ended up reaching out to him first because I missed him and I obviously love him. Well, babe, I love you too. Can we tell them the funny part about how you reached out to me? What? Why was it over Instagram DM and not text? Because we blocked each other. Because we really thought we were done. Yeah, after we... <sighs> wow, that's actually pretty spicy. But after we broke up with each other, we both made the decision to block each other's numbers because we just knew we still had love for each other, but obviously we knew we had to go our separate ways. So we blocked each other's phone numbers to never speak again. But that didn't stop this girl right here who <laughs> DM'd me on Instagram. 
But that didn't stop this girl right here who <laughs> DM'd me on Instagram. But guess what? It worked because she hit me up, she reached out to me first, and now look. Now look at us. We're trying to work things out again. We're trying to, you know, give this relationship a second chance. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually really glad you did reach out to me, babe, because after we broke up, yeah. just thinking back of everything we did together, all the time we spent together, all the memories we had with each other, I would much rather try to go through this battle and solve the problems with the person I love than to start over with somebody new and do all these things with some random person that I'll meet yeah. in the future. I don't want that. I'd rather tackle the issues that we had in this relationship together and fix it with the person I love. So I'm glad you reached out and mm. now yeah. we're giving this relationship a second go. So, okay, before we answer question number two, let's take one more bite. I feel like we're not eating enough. Okay. Number one, this is a answer juicy questions video, but it's also a mukbang. So we gotta be eating, you feel me? Cheers, babe. Cheers. Is it hot? Mm. Is it spicy? It's spicy to me. And if you tell me it's not spicy, mm -hmm. then I know you're lying, babe. This is hot. It's hot, like in the first couple moments. Thank God this isn't like an extreme challenge where we can't drink water because oh. I'm burning and I need this. I need some water. Cheers. Cheers. Shout out to Air Up. Next question. Okay, babe. This question I like. If you guys have... <clears throat> Hold on. That's actually... Mm. I'm not joking. It's just spicy. Next question. Somehow the question of if Wait, you guys... Wait, can you eat more? Okay. Neither of us. Mm, mm, mm. I love it touch my lips. I'm fucked. <laughs> eat, babe. <laughs> oh my God. It's so bad when it touches your lips. Next question. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Oh, I want to actually ask this question. Okay. Babe, these are spicy. They're good. Who said I love you first? And I dare you to try to lie about this because I have a video. <laughs> uh huh. You. What? You. I know, I'm just joking. Who said I love you first? I said I love you first. I remember the moment like it was yesterday. I really do. Okay, so we were talking for a couple months, time passed, and then, I don't know, like one moment hit. It was when you met my parents. Yeah, it okay, It was the so, same night you met my parents. So after a couple months, I met his family or his parents. So what's the secret Amen. to 30 years of marriage? Not talking. Not, Not talking. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, see, yeah. me. No, I just get a one. So did he write you letters or no? Oh, back yeah, I still have them in the box. Oh. I swear to God, oh. it's a thirty. It was thirty years ago when we got married in Jordan. In I May. still have a box full because. Wait, Dad, you know the day? In May third. And we had like some really good conversations and stuff. My mom was showing you her wedding. Her pictures. wedding pictures. That was so like I loved that. Awesome. Brandon, you haven't seen those. Have you? My life is fucked. Now her expectations are so high. Mama so Rug cool. and Papa Rug, they were talking about my mom's wedding day. They were literally had the wedding book out showing us pictures. It was so cute. And then after that, after that, I feel like I fell more in love with you or like ish. It made me love you because I saw like where you came from, how you grew up, like your family. And like, I don't know, it just like, I love how close you are with your family and how they mean so much to you. We took a shot together. We did take a shot together. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> dad, you have to squeeze in. Yeah. Come in, Dad. Okay, Mom, ready. get in, get in. Okay, cheers to my parents meeting my future wife. Oh, cheers. 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 Don't laugh, be like, oh. <laughs> say it, say it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, go. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -huh. Mom. Yeah. In our house. Uh -huh. <laughs> when yeah. you met my parents, my mom and dad talked to you about everything about my yeah. family. Oh, you can deal with kids. Mm -hmm. I love kids. And animals. 
I love dogs. Like everything you guys don't see on camera, <clears throat> my parents sat with Jasmine and talked to her about because we were getting pretty serious. Yeah. Mine and Jasmine's relationship was getting pretty serious, so my parents thought the time was right to talk to her about yeah. everything, and that's what made her fall more in love with me. So it going. was just like a different side I saw um, from him, and like I loved everything. So I just felt like in the moment I knew, okay, I actually love him, and then I didn't want to like wait and be like, oh, like I know I love him, but I want to wait like till the time to write, like a month in a month to say it. Um, so I just was like, I want to say it in the moment I felt it, so that way I know it's like real and authentic. And yeah, because then... you can't plan when you're gonna tell someone you love yeah. them. It, it's just a feel. It's not. Words. It's literally just like a feeling like in that moment. I literally felt like oh my god I love him like I want to say it, but I was so nervous. So take it away. Oh my god okay. I was literally dying. I have I thought the, I was gonna pass out. I have the best video of all time So um, the night Jasmine meets my parents. It was supposed to be a good night a fun night You know, she's meeting my mom and dad my mom and dad sit her down talk to her about everything mm -hmm. So my parents go to bed they go to sleep and me and Jasmine are hanging out mm -hmm. Okay, stop petting him. Oh, he saw the dogs. On and Jasmine's acting really <laughs> weird. Really weird. And I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, did my parents like pull her to the side and tell her something to like scare her? Like, did they threaten her? Like, don't ever hurt my son. Like, what happened? Jasmine was so good before we met my parents. We were having so much fun. And then right after my parents go to bed, she literally was... I don't know how to explain it. It looked like she had seen a ghost. She was so quiet. She was I so- I was literally so like, I did not know how to act. I was like, do I tell him, do I not? Like, like yeah, okay. She was so awkward. She was so shy. And it was so weird because we were so good all day. So baby, before I keep going with the story, what was going on in your head? Where I thought you were being awkward, shy, and what was going on in your head? Um, In my head, I was just thinking like, okay, because at this point we were upstairs and we were in bed. And then we were watching a movie or something, and I just kept looking at him like, fuck, like, do I tell him now? Like, do I wait? What did you like, want to tell me? That I love you. you. So you wanted to say it, but you were so- And listen to this. I couldn't, I literally was like, I couldn't even watch the movie we were watching. I literally, the entire time I was like, when do I say it? Should I say it today? Like, when, 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 when? And then I literally, he like started noticing I was like acting weird and he knew I had to tell him something. Okay, go. Okay, so, so, bro, okay. So I'm looking at her. She looked like she was going to faint. Like, I was just so nervous. I, I noticed it and I'm like, yo, babe, like, what's wrong? Like, do you need something? And she's like, oh, no. Like, I was like, well, are you okay? Like, blah, blah, blah. She kept saying, um, yeah, I'm fine. And in my head, I kept thinking, what did my parents do? Like, does she not like my parents? Why is she acting like this the day she met my parents? Then, I'm telling you, she was just so awkward. I didn't know what else to do. I'm like, yo, babe, let's go down to the kitchen. Uh, we have some raising canes and let's just eat. In my head, yeah. I'm like, maybe she needed some food. Yeah. Uh, let's go eat and let's take a little shot. Yeah. Let's drink a little bit to, to get a little loose because okay. she just looked so uptight. But and then uh -huh. the video yeah so in this video that he's gonna play right now because i recorded when i when i uh you knew yeah i knew you i knew, knew like knew. i knew there was something going on so i told jasmine yo when we take this shot and we eat this canes i want to record a video just so we could remember like this moment of you being so weird uh -huh. so in this video that i'm about to put up on the screen uh -huh. put yourself in our position all night jasmine's acting so awkward and then i'm just sitting there like oh let me just record this moment of us eating together so put yourself in that position watch this video knowing that jasmine wants to tell me she loves me but she was so nervous so scared and just just look at her face this whole video by the way in this moment i had no idea she wanted to tell me she loves me so watch this video
Bro, you look so scared. I was. I was actually so shy and nervous. Well, okay, now let's tell them the even funnier part. So, like, you guys think she said I love you in that video? No. I literally had to write it down. I, I said, can you go to the bathroom? She fucking... I, I made him go to the bathroom, but I wrote it down on, like, this card that we got each other. And then I put, like, I love you, and then I gave it to him. And then he said, no, say it. And I was like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember. Uh, so then after the video you watched where she was super awkward, yeah, you forced me to go to the bathroom. And in my head, I'm like, yo, something's going on. Something's going on, bro. And then after you wrote, I love you on the card, you said, okay, come out of the bathroom. Uh -huh. You gave me the card. Uh -huh. I read the card and I'm like, no. Oh, you love me, but I want to hear it from your mouth. If you really love me, look me in the eyes and say it. Remember? Yeah. I was yeah. like, I was and like. And then that made me like so much more nervous. I literally said, I said, the card is cool. I like that you wrote it. Yeah, so then I, I put the card to the side. I'm like, if you really love me, look me in the eyes and tell me you love me. Yeah. That's when you said it. You were literally about to faint. Yeah. And then, and I, then you know what he does? Okay. He waits 30 minutes and says, oh, but, oh, by the way, I love you too. I'm like, what? God. So then the whole time I was like, wait, like, did I, like after that it was like so awkward. And then I was like, well, sh should I have said that like now? And then like later on he said, I love you. I'm the type of person where I take that phrase I love you very seriously I'm not gonna tell someone I love you unless I really mean it so when Jasmine told me I love you I had to kind of sit there and be like bro do I love her well I did say I love you back yeah you did I just we just waited 30 minutes <laughs> You Eat know, your noodles. I just had to make sure I loved you before I said it to you I have a quick question for you before we move on to the next question yes when you told me you love me and I didn't say I love you right away back, I kind of stayed quiet for like 30 minutes. What were you think? Like, did you regret saying it? I'm scared. Like, did you regret saying it? Or like, what were you thinking, babe? Yeah, I, after I said I love you and he was quiet, I was like, uh, like, I felt so like awkward. Like, was it, did I say it like, right? Like, was it too soon? Like, I can't take it back. Like, do I say I was just joking? Oops. <laughs> and here's some cute pictures of us after I finally said I love you back to her. And we were about to go to sleep that night after both telling each other I love you for the first time. Okay, wait, babe. Mm -hmm. On the topic of you telling me you love me and how you were too scared to say it to my face and you wrote it on a letter, would you believe me if I told you I still have that letter, the same one that you wrote on and I kept it and saved it? Yeah, I would because you save everything. <laughs> you save everything. Don't he, bring up the donut. He... <laughs> Do not. Or he, the scab. Don't bring up the scab. He got, the first scab he ever got in our relationship, you know, he peeled the scab off his skin and he saved it. Like... It's memory. He... He got me donuts one time because I said I wanted donuts. He didn't want to save the box. No, he saved the donut. When we went on a trip to, I think, Mexico. When I asked you to be my girlfriend. When you asked it, babe. When oh, you sorry, asked sorry, me sorry, to be my <laughs> When you asked me to be your girlfriend. I think I was eating hot Cheetos or something. He saves the hot Cheetos. He saves, you grabs a palm tree, puts it in the bag. You know he saves every, Cause... my nail clipping. Because one day in the future when we have kids, I want to tell the kids, yo, look at how much I loved your mom. Look at everything I have saved from all of our yeah. memories together. So anyways, speaking of that card that you wrote, I love you Oh, on. bring it, bring it, bring it. Give me one second. Okay, babe. So, this right here. This is embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? This is cute. I'm shy. So, look. the card right here. You got me this card. Best husband ever. I got it for you the day you were going to meet my parents. Yeah. And now look at the bottom. It goes from best husband ever to the word, I, I love, love you. you. And this is something I wanna keep forever because imagine the story we just told you guys, how she was too shy to tell me I love you to my face and she wrote it on a card. That story's cool, it's cute, but how much better does the story get that I have the exact card that she wrote I love you on, bro? This is, this is something I'm gonna keep forever along with the hot Cheetos you were eating when I asked you to be my girlfriend. Can I bring those real scab. quick? No. I want to see how moldy. I want to no, see how moldy. No, Because no. I asked you out six months ago, so I want to no, see. No, he saves the food like every... <laughs> Guys, he, he saves every single thing. I kid you not. Like Oh, like the first eye drops, the first chapstick, the first shaving cream, everything. Everything you can think of, the first. All of it is saved in a box. Everything, everything. He's coming. 
Wow, I think they rotted away. I don't even see them in here. No. Hold on, hold on. Okay, guys, so this is the this is the Cabo trip, the memory. Long story short, I took Jasmine to Cabo, Mexico, to ask her to be my girlfriend. And Wait, the, don't hold it over the screen. Oh, I see oh! the hot Cheetos. They're moldy. They're moldy. Ew. Okay, listen, listen, babe. Can you grab the camera real quick? Grab the camera. Oh, <laughs> Are people gonna think I'm nasty? Yeah. No, this is cute. It's cute, kind of. <laughs> it, it's a little creepy and psychotic. But what still. if? So I forever want the day to be remembered when I made Jasmine my girlfriend because I love that day so much and it means so much to me. So I saved the water <laughs> bottle we were drinking that day when we were in Mexico. Yeah. Oh God, we're, you're gonna unbox. Ew, what is that? This is the balloon, babe. Oh, oh. This is the balloon that oh, said, yeah. will you I'm be my, my girlfriend? girlfriend. Oh my okay. God. Yeah. Babe, the chocolate from the oh, hotel. Yeah. This is all from the day I asked her to be my girlfriend, guys. Oh, the, the sunscreen, sunscreen. I would use to tan. Because it was really hot over there in, in Mexico. So we used this sunscreen. Oh my God, babe, here's the hot cheetos. No, please don't grab that. Oh my God. We had a palm tree in our balcony and I he, ripped- He ripped a part of the palm tree off. All right, don't make it seem like <laughs> I killed a plant. I gently- <laughs> You ripped. Took a part of the palm tree. I have a video, I have ba a video. Okay, okay. It's already recording. So we have the sunscreen bottle, the tequila bottle, and babe. He's taking a rock. Because we had good conversation here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. But now we're gonna take this one. Honestly, hold on. I'm gonna take a piece of the palm tree. Oh. <laughs> oh god, no, don't rip the palm tree. No, I'm not. Oh god. Oh my, okay, don't, you're breaking the palm tree. This is sharp enough, but oh, and this be my girlfriend one is going down because I want to keep it. This was the girlfriend trip. I want to remember it for the rest of my life. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, oh, I got it. There she goes. Oh yeah. Am I actually a psycho? No, oh, not but for real. Now we have everything. And now we're gonna remember this trip forever, not only through our eyes and brain and memories, but through the stuff that we get to keep. I gently took off a piece of the palm tree and you guys, cause, am I, is it bad to touch the hot Cheetos? Don't, please don't, please Okay don't. guys, well if you look, tell me if it's focused, babe. It is. You, they can see the hot Cheetos? Yeah. Can they see the mold on them? Um. Whatever, guys. They're molded. They're, they're molded. They're moldy. Yeah, you can see they're molded. They're turning black. They're literally turning black, but guys, don't let this be a lesson that I keep moldy hot Cheetos. This Wait, I want to show them one more thing, too. This is the donut he saved. Hold on. This is the donut he saved, and he's gonna save this forever. Because you love because glazed donuts, and I surprised you with glazed because donuts. Because he surprised me one time with glazed donuts, and I really do love glazed donuts, so he's gonna save a part of this forever. He dug it out of the trash can. I, she threw the donuts <laughs> away. I'm like, hold on, babe. Well, I didn't want like animals to come in here. I didn't know you wanted to save it. It's okay, but anyways, <clears throat> guys, don't think of me as a creep or a weirdo or a psycho. Instead, <laughs> think of this as a cute, you know, I, I want one day when we have kids in the future, and I explain all these stories to my kids, I, I think it's cool to be able to tell my kids the story of how I asked your mother out, but it would be a million times more like meaningful if I can pull these out yeah, in front of my kids so and be true. like, yo, this is exactly what I had. So I just, I guess you could say I cherish the moments that I have with Jasmine. I cherish the important days that I have with her, like asking her to be my girlfriend. The first time she told me she loved me. Um, it just, I cherish all these moments. So I like to keep pieces from those things and just, I hold all these items close to my heart and they all mean something to me. So that's why I keep these items. You know what I mean? And I think it's cute. Okay, babe, now that I've been exposed for um, keeping every single <laughs> 
item that we've ever came across in our relationship. Should I go bring the scab real quick? No. Baby, they're gonna actually no. think I'm crazy. I wanna, I wanna put you a big bite of noodles. You're talking like you're not burning your mouth a little too much. Like, baby, I don't want a big bite, baby, please. I can't handle, I can't handle spice. Okay, come. Okay, you know what? We're both gonna take a huge bite. We're gonna take a huge bite? Yeah. Is that? Okay. Oh, you wanna take a <laughs> big bite, guys. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me match your energy. Is Cheers. 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 <laughs> big bite. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh, hold on. It's spicy. I know. Wait, I want to try your flavor, babe. Wild my, berry. I, this is actually my favorite flavor ever. Wild berry. This is my favorite. This one tastes so good. <sighs> That's actually good. I think it's time to close this video out, though, babe. Too hot? Too spicy. We answered a lot of questions. Oh! My scab. Okay, you guys can see the scab now. Okay guys, so if you come with me here to my secret drawer of memories, so over, oh my God, your nail clippings. Hold on, we'll get into those. Hold on, hold on, don't show them yet, don't show them yet. So this is the first toothpaste me and Jasmine ever used when we first started sleeping next to each other. We would share this toothpaste, so I saved this. Um, my first cologne bottle, Jasmine would always tell me how good I smelled. So for the rest of my life, I always want to keep this because that was one of the first compliments you ever gave me. You said mm -hmm. I smell good. Yeah. So I want to show my kids, yo kids, this is the cologne bottle your mom fell in love with me for. You still do smell good. This is the hat that I would wear when we first started dating. Sometimes my hair would be messed up when we would go on dates and I didn't want to fix it. So I would just wear a hat, but I wanted to keep this hat as a memory and didn't want it to mess up. So what I did, I put this in the memory drawer, right? over here, saved it, and I ordered myself a brand new one of the same exact one, because now I could actually wear this one, whereas this one will be forever seen as a memory. This is the Beauty Blender. This was the first Beauty Blender you ever used when we first started dating, so I kept this. And last but not least, baby, can you please show this? You're wild. These right here, you <laughs> guys might be wondering, Brandon, why? Why the heck would you save Jasmine's nails? Ew! Well, it's because when me and Jasmine first started dating, she was gonna start school. Uh, she was going to school to become a, a dental assistant, dental hygienist, and they told her she can't have nails. She had to cut her nails. Okay, what's happening right now? I have to get these removed for school. Jasmine always took pride in having, you know, colorful nails and they looked really good. So I went with her to the nail salon. When your girl's starting school, so she has to get her nails removed. I'm sad. You're sad? I like having nails. And she was obviously upset that they had to cut her nails before <laughs> she started school. So I said, babe, babe, I have an idea. I'll save your nails so we can forever remember the time you had to cut your nails before you started school. You pick them up off the floor and save them and put them in his pocket. The people at the nail salon were looking at him like he was crazy. By the way, I know that I promised you guys a scab siding, which was right over here. Can yeah. they see it? Yeah, kind of, yeah. But so this was his first scab. But what did I do with that scab, babe? <laughs> he gave me this scab as a gift. He put his scab in a Ziploc bag, drove to my house and said, I have something for you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so cute. He gives me a scab. Are you not appreciative? A Ziploc bag with his scab. You sound like you're not appreciative of my gift that I got you. <laughs> okay, wait, baby, I wanna show them that I really did keep the scab, so when you go back home. Okay, yeah, so when I go home, I'm gonna record the video that I have of the scab. Babe, did you throw it away? <laughs> babe, did you throw the scab away? Babe, hold the camera. Babe, I would never, babe. I swear on my life, I did not throw it away. Hold I'm the just camera joking, because right I know he was gonna freak out. Do you have the scab that I surprised you with or no? Babe, <laughs> did you throw it away, yes or no? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just joking. I'm just, I swear I'm gonna send you a video. Tell me I right just, now. I swear I have the scab. I swear I would never throw it because that away. Because that's messed up. If I if I peeled the scab off my arm, <laughs> put it in a ziplock, and gifted it to you as a memory of our first scab together, and you threw it away. <laughs> did you throw it away? No! Okay, then I need you when you go home to send me a video. Okay, so when I go home, I'm gonna record a video and he's gonna put a video of the scab. Okay, okay. And, I, and I remember what the scab looked like, so you can't go home, scratch yourself. I don't yourself, have any scab. Scratch yourself and no, pull the scab yeah. and send me a video of that. Okay. I know what my scab looked like, and that was our scab. It was the first scab we ever got together. You got it playing basketball. I got it playing basketball, but it was my first scab while dating you. Yeah, I have the scab. So I swear, babe, if you don't, if you. I have the scab. Let babe. me find out you threw it away. Yeah, okay. Let me find 
how you threw it away. I didn't. I didn't. This relationship is over. I Part swear. two. I said, hey, okay. don't joke about that. Okay. All right. I just got home and I found the scab he gave me. Um, I literally have the most psychotic boyfriend ever, but I kept the scab he gave me. <laughs> Please, he's not normal. Okay, babe, who's more psychotic? Me for peeling the scab off and giving it to you as a gift, or you for actually keeping it and not throwing it away? You're not normal. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please, dude, I don't know if I'm gonna title this video Spicy Noodle Mukbang, or if I'm gonna title it Bro Wattis is a Psychopath. I think that one would do really good. I don't think any other boyfriend keeps memories like this. Mm -hmm. I think people might keep like the first set of flowers they got there, girl. Oh, come here. Oh. <laughs> I didn't keep the first set Oh, of here we go. We got, wait, what are all these? Oh, look, don't report. <laughs> I got oh a whole. God. Wait, come out here. There's a whole box. I have a whole box. Maybe one day for a video, I'll go through it. But I have a whole box of things of first that I have. You know what, babe? Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Okay, okay. I feel like that would be a good video. Uh, OMG! 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 Oh, this is the bottle! This is the I love you bottle. This is the bottle we drank when I said I love you. When I yeah. recorded the video! Yeah. This is the bottle. So now you know why I keep things as memories. Because look, when my kids in the future be like, Daddy, why did, what were you and my mom drinking when, <laughs> when, when she said I love you? And I can say, kids, we were drinking pink Whitney vodka. But how much cooler would it be if I was like, kids, close your this eyes. This is the bottle. This is the bottle. How much, babe, With there's the so cabin. little bit. There's still a little bit, babe, babe, I Don't to... drink it, that's nasty. Bro, Ew. so anyways guys, I have a whole box of memories. I freaking love Jasmine so much and I always want to hold these memories close and dear to my oh. heart. So I have a whole box, I have a whole secret drawer of all of our first times together and I'm gonna keep this box forever. Maybe one day, you know what? If you I guys- I love you. I love you, babe. I love you. I love you too. I love you more. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Where's your box of my hey, stuff? Hey, I know. No, bag. no. This is my box under my sink right That's here. True. This That's is true. all my box. This is my memory right That's here of true. everything. So, thank you. Anyways, guys, if you want me to pull out that box and go through all the things that I've saved from mine and Jasmine's relationship, I need you guys to drop a like on this video right now. If you guys want me to pull that box out and go through all these memories, and trust me, if you guys think the scab was crazy and you think Jasmine's nail clippings were crazy, <laughs> we got a lot more things in that box. I need everyone to drop a like. What's the magic number? Babe, I want you to give a magic number of likes we need to hit for us to go through that box together. Let's do 30. 30 likes? 30. Or 30,000. Thir oh. <laughs> <laughs> 30,000 likes. Oh, 30,000. Okay, guys, you heard it here first. 30,000 likes, and you guys will get a video of us going through our whole entire memory box. Other than that, it is time to close out today's video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are new. Other than that, it has been your boy, Brandon, aka Bawadis. And Jasmine. And we are out.